Hey guys, Frost here. Welcome back to a new episode of Rax to Riches. Uh, today we're back on the warrior, on the same cave that we were prior to AQ release. Uh, when we were here last time, we got uh, a decent amount of gold. Here we're just about to finish two hours of um, grinding the cave. Uh, we managed to get one uh, recipe for greater nature protection potions, which right now in the auction house are about uh, close to 200 gold. This is the old price. Uh, I haven't scanned the auction house in a while. Actually, I haven't played Classic for a month. I came back uh, just prior to AQ40. And uh, I managed to get like uh, six pieces of uh, heroism. Uh, unfortunately, uh, the healing uh, option from the set is not as good as I, I thought it would be. So, uh, the Warrior's Resolve, as you can see here, is the proc from um, the 4 piece set bonus of uh, Heroism. And compare it with uh, Heroism, which is from the Trinket uh, Dark Moon card, and to the Bloodthirst or even Crusader, it's just, uh, it's just way lower. Now I, I used it for the first hour, hour and a bit, but then I started getting ganked and I kind of uh, swapped a bit the gear opposed to, to wearing uh, 4 pieces of heroism. Uh, I, I did manage to get one greater nature protection potion, which uh, came exactly like one minute ago before I started filming. Uh, the first hour I didn't use consumables, uh, only the second one. I was getting ganked, uh, there was a rogue that uh, killed me here, and there was also a warrior in the cave, somewhere sitting right there in the middle, semi-FK, I think he was waiting for the rich Torium spawn points, uh, which uh, I only got like two of them, two rich Torium spawn points from the cave and two normal ones, unfortunately no arcane crystal, however I did manage to get uh, one greater nature protection potions, which uh, currently sells for about uh, 200 gold. And probably before we go to vendor everything, we're going to have a chance to get another one. Now, the reason why I love coming here with the warrior is because I barely have any downtime. Uh, with the healing that I get from uh, the heroism trinket and from bloodthirst and crusader procs, it's more than enough to keep me going uh, with, without even stopping. No zero downtime. Um, I think I'm gonna go back to dual wield. I've grinded mostly with uh, dual wield here. I only changed when I started getting ganked by uh, a rogue. The competition during those two hours was quite okay. There were two warriors and one rogue that came from my faction to grind here. And of course that uh, orc warrior that was uh, camping the Ristorium spawn points. Um, I came back to the game. And uh, I've done uh, AQ40 on both of my uh, characters, Mage and uh, Warrior. On the Warrior I've done uh, my first AQ last week, last Monday. The next one will be tomorrow. Uh, my reputation is uh, halfway uh, to Hated with uh, Brod of Nosdromo. And um, the Mage uh, already I have the Eye of Cthune and um, the Enigma Boots, the tier 2.5 Boots. Uh, the problem is, since I came back to, to the game, I've spent about 7,000 gold on my mage and about two or 3,000 gold on my warrior. I have no idea on what, maybe on the expensive flasks, maybe on consumables. Yeah, I just spent like a total of 10,000 gold since I came back uh, to the game at the release of AQ. So I came back here to, to start making gold again, at least to keep a budget above... Uh, well, above what I'm spending. I always want to <laughs> make more than I spend, I guess. Uh, my mage currently has 30,000. 30, I made a plan for my uh, warrior and for my mage. Those will be my most played characters. Um, and for my warrior, I decided to go for the full tier 2.5 set. Now, I do have Lionheart Helmet and I know I can craft like Titanic Leggings. However, I think the full tier 2.5 would give me a better uh, use of the set as I would be able to use that set on PvP, would be able to use it on grinding, um, especially for Alliance since it has a lot of stats, I'm talking about strength, agility and so on, they scale well better for Alliance with uh, the ZG buff and with Blessing of Kings. 
So I, I just think that uh, the entire tier 2.5 for my warrior, we're going to take a look at uh, right now. And we're going to open those uh, oozing uh, boxes, see if we can get the disgusting oozling. Like I never got one so far. So AQ sets, yeah, the conqueror set, I want it all. I could have made the the titanic leggings, but I kind of want those, to be honest, I don't know why. And I'm going to replace the helm, uh, the Lionheart helm with uh, the conqueror's crown too. Feels like uh, it's a better option for me. So we're gonna finish uh, clearing the cave here, we're going to go vendor everything and check the price of the Greater Nature Protection Potion. Also open the oozing bag to see if we get the disgusting oozling. It's been quite chill except of the ganking, but maybe it's my fault, I should have uh, should have been more prepared. However, the rogue always opened when I had like 1k HP or 2k HP. Oh shit, okay. I don't know why I pulled so many mobs. But um, the, the fun part is that you can kill them. Okay. Uh, I had to destroy a lot of items for my bag. Um, like uh, broken weapons, skulls, uh, usually the things that the oozes drop. And. Uh, in order to make space, I, I do carry a lot of things. Maybe I should leave some of the things that I have uh, in the bank, or maybe I should make myself 18 slot backpacks, bottomless bags. As you can see, I fought three mobs as a warrior with multiple mobs spawning. But if we go here to current fight, we made a, a 1.6, 1.7k uh, heal from uh, this fight. Which, uh, if we didn't have the healing gear, we would have been almost dead. I need to get better uh, weapons in terms of dual wield. I'm still wielding a Quelserar and a Mira Song. However, I got for make you 20 crossbow of imminent doom, um, signet of uh, unyielding strength, legards of the fallen crusader, flame guard gauntlets from MC, and uh, I, I do need to focus on getting like uh, one-handed weapons. In terms of two-handers, I have in the bank as well, like uh, Zinrock. I, I have like Black Blade of Sharam from Upper Black Rock Spire and uh, an Untamed Blade, which is quite a cool sword, I would say. I do manage to do a lot of DPS even with those weapons, but uh, apparently it's harder for Alliance compared to Horde to get uh, one-handers, especially swords. As a uh, swords on alliance are used by every human, and most uh, PV DPSers are humans. Uh, on my horde guild on Farlina, where I play with my mage, the chromatically tempered sword. Uh, at this point, we sell it. We we don't need it anymore. Like people bought it for 50 DKP last week as a meme, so they would have a. <laughs> a sword. I think this is it. Uh, we're gonna finish uh, killing those two rotting behemoths and we're gonna go open the... I think we're not even going to go to the auction house. We'll just do it right here and see exactly what we get. Just uh, test my luck last year. Let's use all the cooldowns available here. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Sorry guys. I got another one exactly when I was ready to go. So uh, 2 hours 24 uh, uh, minutes. Actually it was more than 2 hours uh, because whenever I got killed I, I paused the, uh, the timer to walk back. But uh, there we go, 2 recipes. Oh wow, what can I say? 
Let's open these, and then we'll do the quickly the math. Everything is with silver here, let's open that. Oh, come on. You're gonna have to trust me that the nature protection potion recipe goes for 200 gold as I checked the auction house be before I came here, but I didn't scan. So this is the old price uh, from my old videos. So a total of uh, 400 and probably 30, 50 gold. It's mostly an RNG grind. If you don't, uh, if you don't uh, get the recipe, you won't be making gold here unless you mine and probably get an arcane crystal. So it's a total RNG grind. But I managed to make in uh, two hours about 400 and. 40, 50 gold, including the raw silver, including the the trash that I destroyed. If I had more backspace, a couple of herbs that will sell, and uh, this is it. I guess this is a great spot. Uh, uh, we're going to go re go and revisit some of the spots that we covered in the past, as the prices changed, the economy changed. And uh, thank you very much for watching, guys. Uh, if you wanna see more, come uh, on, on my Twitch. I'll be raiding today and uh, tomorrow as well. Until next time, stay frosty.